Newsflash, a barn explodes in Germany. Is it terrorism or flatulence? Find out on today's... Funk It Down Newsflash. Number three. A herd of 90 dairy cows have farted their way to an explosion through their methane-laden front and rear exhaust. A static charge set off the gas in the barn, causing an explosion that nearly blew the roof off. One cow suffered minor burns and no people were hurt. However, now that the cows have shown their true power, fears arise as to what their future demands may be. Number two. A North Dakota cow thief has become the first American to be arrested and jailed with the help of a drone. A predator drone was borrowed from the US Border Patrol to assist locating farmer Rodney Brosart after he refused to return three cows that wandered onto his property. Brosart argued in court that the unwarranted use of a drone was unconstitutional, but a federal judge rejected his motion. So we can now rest easy that unmanned military surveillance devices are now protecting us from Osama bin Kalthif and Al-Qaeda. Number one. Scientists have reconstructed the genome of the first iteration of the bubonic plague. By extracting DNA from infected skeletons from 1500 years ago, scientists were able to link the plague of Justinian in 540 AD to that of two other cataclysmic plagues, including the Black Death in the 14th century. The research shows that the plague has jumped from rats to humans on several occasions, and that such a jump isn't difficult or a wild fluke. So while modern antibiotics protect us from today's strains from the bubonic plague, Plague. Should the bacteria mutate, we will all surely die. Interesting stories. So you know how to press beyond all belief? Ah, ah, ah. Let me know in the comments below. Stay tuned for more news. Subscribe if you want. And until next time, this is Sam saying, stay funky, everyone. Is it? Oh, news? Oh, if you get infected by the bubonic plague, you die within 24 hours. A horrible, horrible death. <laughs> Sam time. Signing off. Subscribe today. Funk it down. And welcome to. Sam Tucker's review of the Grammys 2014. Um, there were lots of people there. They, they cut to Taylor Swift a lot. Uh, but Kanye did not interrupt her this time.